Welcome back to Travel Show Live. I'm Eric Hastings. Boy, the thing looks a little... Di wow, it's, it's almost like the security camera, like from the corner of the room. Hi, the everyone. Elevator. Yeah, right. <laughs> it looks like the elevator. Well, you know, we. Uh, this is one of these segments I've always wanted to do because, um, you know, in these days of... $25 and $30 and $40 bag fees uh, out there to check your bags. A lot of people are saying, you know what we need to do? We need to just do carry-on. Now, th there's a small problem here in that sometimes it's just not very practical to have only carry-on luggage. So it's not going to work in every instance. However, I do think with a little diligence, we can really... We can do better with bringing, because what you don't want to end up doing is thinking, okay, I'm going to do just carry on. And then, uh, you know, being one of those people that can't fit your luggage down the aisle, they're carrying like a, a garbage bag and like some other, and they're sh jamming things into the overhead bin. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to start first with the actual bag. Uh, and I think now we, what we did, we, we chose this bag. This is, a, this is by Travel Pro. This is one of their newest lines. It's called Max Light. Uh, and we chose this because it's state of the art uh, in terms of its design. And of course, it's by a brand name that we know. Now, you can spend uh, money on brands you don't know. And, you know, you might be okay. I got no problem with that. If you want to spend a lot of money and do, you know, Louis Vuitton luggage, I'm fine with that too. But for the most part, we're looking for a quality product at a, at a reasonable price, and that's what Travel Pro is all about. So, and they have been for years. Denise, you were talking about, you know, a set of luggage from Travel Pro. How long have you had that set? 14 years. 14 wow. years, and you actually use it and travel with it. You know what I mean? Now, I'm sure it's dinged up a little bit, but we're talking over a decade here. Not bad. Um, so anyway, that's why we chose this piece. Can I do this, John? Is it okay? And so I wanted to show it to you. A couple of things I want you to pay attention to, and, and in this particular bag... Um, the wheels. So first thing I want you to look for when you're trying to find a new bag is look at the construction of those wheels. And we took this on, on a trip just recently and it held up, you know, terrific. But you're looking for real solid design. That's very important because that's what's going to be rolling all over the place. Now I'm really happy that I'm actually touching these wheels after it's been downstairs at Penn Station. That just brings a smile to my face and uh, another wet wipe that needs to happen soon. Uh, now this is an expandable situation, so uh, I don't know how to use it exactly, but uh, hold on a minute, I gotta find a zip. Where, this is where it's gonna turn south, you know, because I don't know how to use it. Or what's in it, wouldn't it be really like, hey, what the? Now this is, a, oh, we got the, oh, the, I love this one too. This is the, uh, this is the duffel bag. I've been using this, this is a great duffel bag. Well, that's for another, for another day. Uh, anywho, a couple of things here on this one. Uh, and you might want to look on this. You've got a number of different pocket options. This is going to help you stay organized. Now, there's also an inherent danger. This is, a, I think this is a 22-inch expandable situation. Um, there's a little bit of an inherent danger. Is just because you have the expandable space doesn't mean you need to use it. And, and the only reason I caution you on that is because the more you expand, the more it becomes less and less practical tr to try to get into an overhead bin. Because theoretically, these bags are also supposed to be able to fit in the uh, underneath in front of you. So you got to you know be careful of that. So a couple things I wanted you to pay attention there. Also, I forgot what they call these the, the corner guards. So watch these corner guards, the stripping that they have. Uh, that's very important to have that. Also, the exterior pockets help you as well. Something I always look for is this. Um, I like how this is protected. It gets you away from the elements where your handle is. I think that's very smart. That's a good design. I like that a lot. Uh, but I always look for quality construction on this particular part of it. It looks pretty good. Nice and solid. Didn't have a problem with that. Now, a couple of things, a couple of tips I want you to pay attention to, and it does have this. A, uh, instead of having a luggage tag, I use a business card uh, because it has my work address on it. And there it is. There's my business card on the outside. But also, what I do is make sure you have a business card on the inside. And uh, always carry your wife's uh, set of earrings. Make sure that happens, too. You want to have a couple of those. Now, uh, shoes. Uh, let's be responsible when it comes to shoes. A, I would recommend you wear your heaviest shoes. So whatever shoes you're bringing on this trip, wear the heaviest ones. Even if it's kind of a pain in the ass to do through security, it's worth it because you don't want a big pair of bulky shoes in here. But you definitely, in a 22-inch size bag, can do two or three outfits comfortably with your shaving kit on something like a 22 inch. Now this one, like I said, this is Max Light from Travel Pro. What's the name of the website? Uh, Austin House. Oh, austinhouse.com. You can look at this bag, but that's the one we chose. So a couple of tips. 
because you might want to consider whether or not you actually have to check a bag. Because don't forget, you're going to be around a bunch of people that don't really care what you're wearing. So you can re-wear an outfit, and you can also make sure your outfits are interchangeable. Now that's very important too. Uh, a lot of people roll up their clothing. I do not roll up clothing. I actually, no, I actually fold uh, and lay out uh, all the way across, and I use that uh, dry cleaning plastic that comes in, and you layer plastic in, and it will help keep the wrinkles down. You do that, John? It works. You roll, you're a roller? Yeah, but I wear a t-shirt. Well, that's true. That's, that's, no, there you go. So that's our little uh, how to pack a carry-on bag segment. I love nice. this. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a good way to wrap up the program. Have a great week. We'll talk to you next week. And next week, we'll do another little luggage segment on how to pack your checked luggage. That's a whole other ball. Yeah, exactly. So we'll get to that next week. Have a hail. Have a wonderful week. We'll talk to you next week, 2 o'clock Eastern, here on Travel Show Live. Thank you.